Yo, yo, this is Fuego, and I'm chilling on the line with the man Bishop, repping 757VA. What's good you with know. you, son? What's good, man? How are you? Chilling, chilling, yo. You know what I'm saying? Enjoy I'm... it. Are you enjoying your day, man? Hey, look, man, I got, I'm got. i swatting away these votes. Out here. Everybody trying to take a bite of these 16, man. I'm like, get out of here. <laughs> 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 no, I feel you, son. What's poppin', though, man? What's good? What's goody, man? I'm chilling. I'm chilling, yo. I'm just trying to, um, yo, I'm just getting shit together, man, up here in, uh, you know, D.C. They, they wildin' up here with the traffic, and it's just annoying, man, sometimes, but you know how that shit be. Yeah. But, um. Yeah, Wale, Wale doing, doing, he doing it for the, um, for the be, for the be more try stay around that area, I think. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I was just talking to somebody, I I think he ran into him or something, yo, because uh, this this young boy I know that go to the, uh, George Mason was telling me something, yo, and I was like, all right, I'm going to get back with y'all. So, mm -hmm. you know, we trying to do yeah, some... Yeah, shout out to George Mason, too, man. Oh, yeah. I won a lot of money in 2006 when they beat when they beat UConn. <laughs> <laughs> yep. That's wild, yo. I, I need to check yeah. them out, too. But, yo, without, you know, I've been telling everybody, you know, get up my man Bishop, yo, he Ron. He do it all, and and Katz is like, you know what I'm saying? What, what does he do? What does he really do? And all that. So I was like, yo, I'm about to have an interview with my dude, and we're going to tell, you know, he's going to tell you what he do. Definitely, definitely. So, you know what I'm saying? I know I know that you, you know, we met up when we was both, you know what I'm saying, young boys in 757 and all that. So, I mean, where, where are you from, though? You know what I'm saying? Let, let everybody know where you where you from originally and a little breakdown, uh, background journey. Yeah, definitely. Well, you know. I'm originally from Florida, you know what I'm saying? I was um I was raised in VA. I went in the, I went to school in, in Connecticut for Mason Master and now I'm back in VA, you know, doing my one two thing because, you know, sometimes I mean for me, it's not where you're from, it's where you at. Everywhere I'm at is popping, you know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I feel you. Yeah, sure, you know, it's, it's just just different 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 parts. Like my mother, she's from San Diego, my pop's from Illinois, so I got a little Midwest West Coast in me, you know what I mean, and I and I'm I'm pretty much from the south, you know what I mean? Not to go back up north, just to just to home some skills and whatnot on my engineering set. Now I'm going in. Oh, word? <laughs> yo, I'm gonna have to talk to you offline because my wife from San Diego too, yo. So she, I, I ain't gonna say nothing. She gonna come in here yelling and talking loud if I do. You know what I'm saying? Oh wow. <laughs> but yeah, man, that's what it is, yo. So like like I said, um, I let a, lot, a couple of people hear you too on the SoundCloud and all like that. So they, you know, the question that they asked me. And, you know, I wasn't too sure. They was asking me, like, how many years have you been doing this? You know what I mean? Is it something new right. or, or you've been doing it for years? I mean, I've been doing this ever since I was, like, 12 years old. You know what I mean? Okay. Um, I pretty much, I started out rapping. And then when I got in high school, I used to um, I used to run with this group. We called ourselves the um, Fantastic Eight. And it was me and my boy Dion and a couple of people from my old oh, high school and yeah. whatnot. You know what I'm saying? We used to, we used to get it at, you know what I mean? When, when we was all in middle school, we graduated and went to high school. It's kind of like we could, everybody had their teams that they was running with. And we used to hold it down. So, you know, that was back in the day. We kind of all branched out, did our own thing. Now, I just kept it moving with mine now. You know, I'm running with my Wave Runners team, Rock, Rock and Game, Take Off. You know what I mean? I pretty much, um, just pretty much networking with everybody, man. But yeah, you know. Anything where I can put in, whether it be engineering or 16 or producing, man, I'm around. You know what I mean? That's what's up. That's what it is right there. So, I mean, like most people, you know what I mean? You know you got skills on the mic. So, you know, I, I know you're putting this into a business. We already know. It's not about, I know it's not about money because you're doing it. You know what I mean? Regardless of talent that you have. But, you know, you know you can get some in the business with that. So, I guess I, I guess the question I got is what? You know, what made you want to, you know, pursue, like, the business aspect also? You no know, marketing and all that of yourself and not just rhyme and that's it. Well, for me personally, it was just a matter of um, doing the business right because sometimes when you wake up with certain people that, you know what I mean, they might, their interest might not be your best interest. So you pretty much, I pretty much was like, I had to take up a business world in it because all I did was the music and I always lit a third party hand on my business aspect of things and, and it didn't work out. So I figure if I if I get more business more business smart and musically inclined at the same time that it all work out because 
And that's just advice to any artist that's trying to get in this business because the, the game's pretty shady. And if you don't know, you, you know what I'm saying, closed mouths don't get fed. So you always got to do your research and, um, you know what I'm saying, pinpoint what you're trying to do as an artist and where you're trying to take your career. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I mean, I had that conversation not too long ago with some. And uh, that's kind of why I stopped. You know, I used to try to, you know, get on and, and do things with artists. And it just got to the point that a lot of them got get big headed and don't realize that, you know, they go get straight jerked if they don't know what's going on. You know what I'm saying? Right. And, um, right. you know, it's just one of those things that you need to know, you know, your stuff. Don't go anywhere blindly and just expect somebody to, you know, this 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 ain't a, a game that, I mean, yo, you got to fire your mother and father sometime. We've seen that all day. You know what I'm saying? Right. Or your husband or your wife or whatever. You know, you got to, I mean, it's, it's a crazy game right there when it comes to um business, period. But especially when you're talking about, you know, music and, and entertainment is 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 cutthroat sometimes. You know what I mean? Right, right. Yeah, yeah. So, you know what I'm saying. So what what I do when I I want to ask um, you know what 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 type of genres you know other than you know hip hop do you dabble in? Um, definitely R and B. Um, R and B is one of my um one of my favorite genres in my field because you know I got a uh I got a singer in my camp, Dre Promise. We pretty much um we working on this. I love music volume one mixtape and it is it's gonna really have a crossover between the hip hop R and B stages and uh you know, just dabble in a little pop a little bit with some um like hard rock like okay. like heavy metal type um um synth and uh guitars. So it's pretty much a little mixture of a lot of different things, but I try to keep it all on the same avenue. I don't try to do too much of something and go way too out of my element. Because yeah. like it's just me, I gotta, I gotta, you know what I'm saying? I gotta give people like my style, pretty much my own sound. Because everybody pretty much is always trying to do different things, and they get lost within themselves. And before you know it, you know what I'm saying? You have no identity. So I, I pretty much try to, you know, fine tune my craft and stay within my guidelines and with the music I'm trying to portray and um what I want people to think of me as far as an artist. Yeah, and um, you know, I like the way you just said that. You know, you can't go too much into it, and and, and I've noticed that's. You know, that's the main reason I'm always saying that, you know, hip hop has became a little watered down and not even just hip hop All I feel like all music because I've been listening to a lot of rock lately and uh, dealing with like underground rock bands. And and it's just not the same as what I was listening to, like early 90s, middle 90s. And now it's, it's like everything is centered around pop music and money. You know what I'm saying? So right, it, right. it becomes something like when you want to get, I mean, I, I don't mind like, you know, Wayne doing a little bit of rock, you know, a little bit of country. That's fine to do crossover. That That's fine. But when you start to, now you start to do everything and nothing is hip hop. If you know the, the, the uh, origins of what hip hop is and now you're wearing crazy gear and you're wearing, I'm not saying the skinny jeans because the skinny jeans is what it is. I don't like the skinny jeans, but that's what they wore back in the day. Even even hip hop artists in the eighties, that's what it was, that's what it was. That's yeah. not what I'm talking about, yeah. but I'm talking about the the wild, um, kind of like the rock and roll image. Because now you are getting a like it's a to me it's a false image of hip hop. There's cats that tell me they don't battle, and it's like yeah. yo, that's like telling a, a basketball player telling you they only b play ball if they got Jordans on. That ain't that ain't <laughs> a real artist or a real baller in my opinion. If you're gonna tell me you don't battle, that's that's the that's the the harder what the hell hip hop is, you know what I'm saying? Right, right. And another thing too is like, um, th there's a lot of different hip hop has gotten so big that it 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 has to get broken up into a lot of different sections. And now exactly. you got your commercial hip hop, you got your underground hip hop, you got your hard hip hop, you got your, mm -hmm. I want to say watered down hip hop. You know what I mean? And it's a lot of it's a lot. And then you 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 just got like uppity beats as far as like the south because you know a lot of stuff is dumbed down down south up north it's more like metaphors and yeah. um and like heavy samples down south is more like a, a heavy bass you know what i'm saying simple hooks and you know like it's it's it's, it's a whole different um it's a whole different type of sound so yeah. with hip-hop in general you know like i said like I said before, it's gotten so big is that, you know, there's so many different avenues that people take, take, um, to put their stuff on. But now it's like, you know, some, a lot of people are, are fine tuning to the South and what the South is doing because, you know, just off the years that came, the, the South had a lot of, 
a lot of time, a, a lot of lost years coming. I mean, it was just time. I mean, I think it was just, it was a more like a, a takeover in 2006. Yeah. And now you got a lot of people trying to get on the, the claps and the snaps and people veering away from samples. But, you know, I think, I think it's always going to come back. Just like you said, like how people back in the day were rocking skinny jeans. I think the samples are going to come back and people are going to get more into the metaphors and more into the MC as long as that, you know, the cats that are coming out now try to keep it on, you know, saying that type of look. Yeah, no doubt. And I, and I just always tell everybody, just be real. You know what I'm saying? Be real with what, what, what you're talking about. Be real with what you do. Because, I mean, people take you literal. I always say, I mean, to young people, I always tell them, a lot of these cats is, is actors. Some of these cats right. lived that life and did used to live that life. But you could do the, 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 the history on a particular rapper. And if they if they put something out there and they talking all, say, you know, gutter and gangster, you know what I'm saying? I'm not saying they can't go and do pop music or nothing like that. But people tend to, to to not realize that this is the same dude that's been rich since he was 11. Just imagine Bow Wow coming out and now he gangster. When have you ever lived in the hood and really went through that life when you was rich at five and six? You wasn't right. there. So that's why I'd be right. like, realize they acting, but I, 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 I want them to, to, to let people know that. I know there's an image, but I just feel like it's centered around money now. And it needs not be. And that's why I was like, yo, I'm going to get Bishop. I'm going to get the cast from URL I rock with. You know, Josiah from the block. All them type cats. Because yeah. it's like y'all trying to, y'all some real, you know, realness to it. It ain't no. Right. And, and it's not saying you cannot go into pop music or whatever. You It's music. You should do all types of music. Don't matter if it's damn, you know what I'm saying? Like, like I'm talking about yodeling and shit. If you want to do that, do that. You know what I'm saying? And if right. You like, play, like, yeah. I feel like. If a, if a pop artist had reached out to me, right, it was yeah. like, Bishop, I want you to do this track. You know what I mean? I'm going to do the track, but I'm going to do my format on your track. Just like if you, right. if I feature a pop artist on my track, I want to do his stuff on my stuff. You feel me? Because I don't do it, but therefore, if I'm going to feature you on it, let's do something you do. Because if I get on your stuff, I want to do me on your stuff. That's, that's the whole part of collaboration. Exactly. Exactly, and it brings the two together. It's not like once I'm on that pop track, I become that pop, and that's all. And that's all I become. I'm not my own self. I, I just go right. into the, yo. You gotta bring, like you said, you gotta bring your own stuff. Back in the day, when you heard Meth Man and Mary J. Ron, you didn't hear him singing on that. So you heard her singing. She do R and B. He a rapper. Right. You know what I'm saying? That's just right. how. I, and like I said, I'm not an artist, so yeah, I'm not gonna go too much into it. But yo, right now I'm gonna go to a track. You know, we're gonna be right back. Combustion. If you're not acquainted, let this be your introduction. I'm the J A Y Lady Bird Fly High. She is I that which lies behind my third eye. I'm the conscience on your shoulder when you hear me serve the science. Guidance if you knew it, addressing the non compliant Goliath and I be David. So contemplate your alliance. Relying on your pride to reign immorally defiant. I am a giant. Fix your face for the inevitable. A breath of fresh air from the unintelligible. J the intellectual. They say she not sexual. I'm grinding on these bars and beats when I seduce a flow hip-hop and knowledge sparks fly when they meet mind body and soul can you feel that heat bittersweet let it melt like honey on your ear low fear not dear i'll put you on when i'm in pure mode Get back to the basics, shake this, erase it, stricken from the record, leave them nameless. Dummies ain't funny, be tripping on they own laces. Now the race is over, you behind ten paces. Is hip hop dead? No need to seek the oracle. This repulsive basis of the question is rhetorical. To her, we are indebted, undoubtedly obligated, and let it be known about it. So step in, I'll leave you jaded. 
Hip-hop lives in the heart, master my militia Going heavy on the grind, got news for you mister I'm the splinter in the side of the weak and obsolete I roll with the punches, relentless with no retreat My pursuits are a preview of waking me up out my sleep So I put the pen to the paper and I compose you defeat Weep not over hip-hop, she is thriving If the tick-tock stops and the clock start winding It is now apparent that these cats require reminding These are the criteria and this has been my finding Hip-hop is a genre inspired by revolution Your meaningless mockery is degrading the institution Poisoning the minds of those hungry for a solution So the truest function of the equation is substitution Poetry is the MC's purest element If you don't spit knowledge in your presence is irrelevant The travesty they feed in you is mocking your intelligence But mind over matter doesn't seem to be the prevalence Sincere with my humility, don't take me for a bragger It'd be vain of me to waste the time to tell you about my swagger Haters surely waiting round the corner cloak and dagger But most step in the arena unless they want their dreams shattered Patterns are emerging, can't stand a carbon copy On a bubblegum beat and whole delivery is sloppy The industry is shady but a light shines underground Soon to be an army, many voices, one sound revolution A simple obvious conclusion Babylon is crumbling, we need a resolution I avow that I will see this vision through the fruition As in all that I pursue with meticulous execution I represent the real 